Velasquez. ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alexandria. This segment brought to you by ADL, a Ferguson Enterprise. Just imagine and let ADL take care of the rest. ADL, a Ferguson Enterprise. Hour two off and added off the bench, 104.5 ESPN Baton Rouge, 100.3 ESPN Radio in New Orleans, 94.7 ESPN Alexandria. Easy to find us online at 1045ESPN.com. Jordy Collada, T-Bob Bear, Coach Derek Stingley Sr. is in with us here for the top of the 8 o'clock hour. River Shuey, Golden Band Nick, and Nathan Velasquez here with you for another hour. We'll talk LSU football with Brody Miller from Hold That Podcast. Podcast coming up at 8.30 also from The Athletic. We'll talk about LSU on the road, undefeated, number two team in the country, traveling to Starkville to take on Mississippi State. Hour one, we talked a lot of NFL. Boog was here, Booger McFarlane, brought to you by Central Plumbing Company. Uh, we talked about the Jalen Ramsey trade from Jacksonville to L.A. as L.A. sends over two first-round picks and a fourth for Jalen Ramsey. So if you missed it, it's online. Brought to you by Carriages of Baton Rouge. But as we said, hour two, been uh, teasing it yesterday. We talked a little bit about it. Now we're number one. We're going to uh, Coach Stingley in. From the, uh, from the Dunham School, his son, of course, Derek Stingley Jr., leads the SEC and ranks number three nationally and passes defended with 12, around, right around two per game. He's intercepted a pass in three straight games. Mm. He's the SEC Freshman of the Week for his mm. performance versus Florida last Saturday night. Had a big interception in the third quarter that really changed the momentum of that game. I mean, it set up the, uh, the, the nail in the coffin, right? I mean, that was the... Uh... While it, while it may not have been the nail itself, it then set up what was the the final gasp of Florida. And something that we hadn't talked about with with, with staying all season long, Junior, is that he's kind of just filled in in that punt return role. I mean, he hasn't made the huge play yet, but he hadn't cost you back there as a freshman through six games. So it's good to see you this morning, Coach. How are you, Coach Derek Stingley Sr. here with us? on uh, on set good morning i'm great good morning guys i'm glad to be here I'm, i might want to call this my part-time job I'll yeah be here well <laughs> hey man you're pretty good at it in fact you're so good we're not even going to talk football with you in the opening segment we're going to invite you in to play a little uh, a segment that we do here every wednesday called would you rather everybody's eyes are big around the room is this i'm a just a little nervous about this okay. what? All right. well, no, I don't know. okay we'll okay. see we'll see how it yeah. goes you'll be right, great go. lock it up let's go <laughs> now he's nervous Okay, which would you rather be? Now, what superpower would you rather have? The question is, would you rather date the blind or the deaf? Would you rather drown or be burned alive? Would you rather be overpaid or underrated? Rather you just said thank you and went on your way. All right, it's time for Would You Rather Wednesday Normally. We just go on reddit.com slash or would you rather we take some of the top posts from the week, but we got a lot of good suggestions. I can see nervous eyes. From the audience. <laughs> so here we go. Got kids listening. It's easy, it's easy. Yeah, it ain't yeah. nothing. Look, we're not getting any like not safe for work stuff. Uh, would you rather spend your money on the comforts at home so you have a really comfortable house, nice house, all that, but rarely travel? Or we'll just say never travel. So you have a great house. Love it, but you never get to travel or live with the bare essentials, but travel frequently. This comes from T. Bobbyist in the huddle. And you can travel with nice place. Like, you you spend all your money on travel, so you get to do the nice thing on travel. Well, let yeah. you go first, Coach. Where are you going? Um, I'll take the house because me personally, I, I, I love being at home. And, and I can bring everybody to me. Hell so yeah. now now that you have the family, now that I have the family, um, I think that the house is the right call here. But there was a time in my life where I just needed the bare essentials. I didn't need anything at home, and I would live like like a dorm life. Like like but if I'm the Golden Band Nick, if I'm Golden Band Nick, I'm, there's only one answer. I think yeah. bare essentials is whatever you need in your life. So you have kids, so you it would be the bare essentials for your life. Yeah, but I mean, the bare essentials with kids, that's still like, I mean, you're like stressing about like diapers and food Formula, and stuff. Yeah. Like you got, I mean, look. I'm with you. This is so age dependent to me. When you're young, hell yeah, take off. Like, go travel the world. But now, I just want to be chilling at home. 4K TV. I can't imagine a world. Fiber internet. I where I didn't get to travel. 4K, I mean. I can't imagine. No, I'm led. saying, even with my kids. Like, I just think that, like, the things you that. miss out on by traveling, like, you don't get to see how other people live. You don't get to see other cultures. I feel like I'm a. The beach? I feel I'm like I'm a more a, open minded person because I travel a lot. For sure. No, I'm, no, I'm no, going to no, watch no. a lot of sick travel documentaries yeah. on my QLED TV. Travel, travel, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're straight. I'll find out about the world. Bora Bora. 
<laughs> yeah. Nathan? Oh, oh no, I'm going to have to go. I'm on board with the travel thing, but honestly, I feel like quality of life. I'd still travel, of course, but quality of life when you've got like exactly what you want at home. Mm. And if you can have the perfect assembly of what you want at home, give me that. Mm. Wouldn't day. it kind of feel like house arrest, though? A little, what? Wait, I mean, are you not you allowed to leave this house? Never travel. If you could never no, leave, you can leave the house, you, you can leave the house. You can't leave the house, yeah. but you just can't leave the city Wait. limits. Yeah, you can't leave the city at all. No, I mean, you can't okay. Travel. Let's say like you, yeah, you can get like uh, like a, like a couple hours away. Next, you're not going next, on vacation. Next, that's next, the next. point. Uh, Put with the semantics. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, would you rather another word from T. Bobby's? Would you rather have the ability to renew any TV shows you want or cancel? Any TV shows? You cancel want. it, cancel it. <laughs> oh wow, Gosh, Nathan, why? Nathan. <laughs> I don't know. This nine one one show, get that thing off the air. <laughs> I'm uh, Grey's Anatomy. Get off. Get out of here. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy's been on for like thirty so years. Yeah, and years. I'm the one that just canceled it. <laughs> Is One Tree Hill still going? No, on? no. Um, I would say renew. I'm going to renew as well because there, there's a few shows that that went out that that I was a big oh fan like of. what. Big Bang Theory for one. <laughs> okay, All hell yeah! Right. Shout out to the Big Bang Theory, dude. <laughs> no, I think that happens. Like you get to that, you watch um, a whole season of a show, and there's like a cliffhanger or something, and then they don't renew the season, and that's the worst. Firefly. I mean, that's I mean, one of the ultimate examples yeah. for me. Big I love Firefly. Lies. Oh yeah, and that one's over. Oh, now, is it I, over now? I mean, I think well, so. Well, I think we hear some mutterings. You know, Nicole Kidman, <laughs> Reese Witherspoon. Movie? Get those two together. Yeah, Movie? they're talking about it. Look, if it makes enough mutterings. money, never doubt. Yeah. The I'm not canceling that show. It's going. All right, uh, would you rather have tiny hands <laughs> and think even tinier than my hands? Yeah. I'm already yeah, on the boardish of looking weird, weird, but think like you like, think about it to where it's truly unnoticeable. So they see you and you're like, whoa, those are tiny hands. Or you have ears that are the size of average hands. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> I think like, I got, dude, it's easy for me. I got to go with the ears. And really? It, yeah, and it's no. not just because we well, just have such a complex at this point. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> uh, Wait, but, tiny no. hands like like are see we what talking the other about? Side lives like? Are you talking about like half the size of what they are currently, or like like? I would say a good reference point is the old Burger King commercial where they were like oh. digitally tiny, oh. where they're almost like little baby oh. hands. Like oh, we're talking tiny hands. But think about how big those ears are too. <laughs> Those are freakishly large ears. Look at my look at my hands next to my ears yeah. right here. No. Give me the ears, though. Give me the ears, yeah. though. I, mean, yeah. still, I have to go with the ears, yeah. too. I see how insecure you get over the yeah. small jokes and the small hand jokes. I'm just going to yeah. keep my hands, man. I can't walk around with my hands in my pocket, though. <laughs> I think i got to go with the hands. Oh, man. That's easy for you. Well, yeah, for yeah, a woman, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. hands don't right, bother right, right. me. So no, much. I'm not out yeah. here about to get a specialty steering wheel. Give me the ears. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, if you're a girl, maybe the guys like it. They're like, well, what's that hand's going to do for me? It's going to look great. Uh, would you rather be able to, uh, in one sitting, or would you rather have to, in one sitting, eat an entire jar of peanut butter without anything to drink, or drink three gallons of milk? Let's bump it down to two. Let's bump it down to two. I don't think you do I three. I think that you can, can you physically drink two gallons of milk? I don't think you, do think you can, because even the one gallon one? challenge yeah. you almost always throw yeah. up. So then, always. like, All right, so one jar of peanut butter or one gallon of milk? Yeah, peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter. Peanut, peanut butter. butter. Peanut butter. Oh, peanut butter. That's tough for me. Give me the milk. I don't, I don't do sugar. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's gonna like be rough milk. for you either way. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You don't do sugar or milk. Oh, well, <laughs> this is a bad one for you. Yeah. yeah. I would go. Uh, I, I would go with the milk. Um, I've been drinking a lot more milk ever since I had a baby. Because we have milk yeah, all the time now. Yeah. I'm starting to think about this peanut butter thing. Think about like taking just a spoonful of peanut butter and not being able to, to drink uh, something. I don't know. It's gonna be brutal by I'm the bottom of that though. peanut butter jar. It's gonna be brutal. <laughs> Um, would you rather? Last one. Uh, okay, if, if we only have one more, let's see what the best one on here is. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, would you rather be able to go back in time one minute, but you can only do it three times per hour, or it's a lot of math. My, oh. You can go back in time for a full twenty-four hours, but you only get to do it once a week. Oh, 24 hours. 24, 24 hours. hours. Once, a week. Once, a week. Wow. Once a week. Wow. I am the complete opposite. Where's the first of this. place you're going, coach? Uh, to play if you, the, if to you can go back in time, where's the first place you're going? Play the Powerball. Even though a lot of people would tell you you have a lottery ticket that's going to hit about three years from now. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I think, I mean, I just feel like the 24 hours, you could change things 
way too drastically. Give me the minute. It's a little more chill. I have a bad interaction I want to redo. I make a poor decision that I want to redo. Just bump it back 60 seconds and I'm good to go. Three times a day, let's do it. Anonymous user, why have Stingley Sr. on and wasting with this trash segment? That's You're all we're welcome. Fix it this next. is what we do on That's Off the Bench. Right. Derek Stingley Sr. talking football next <laughs> on Off the Bench. Off the Bench with Jordy Collada and T-Bob Bear, ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alexandria. Stand them up, T. You know what time it is, people. Uh, it's time to talk about a problem that affects many men of all ages. Um, and, and the guys are going to help you out. And of course, I am talking about the guys and gals over there at BlueChew.com. Uh, Blue Chew is the first ever chewable with the same active ingredient as uh, Cialis and Viagra. Um, and, and look, like I said, man, this is not just an older gentleman problem. It, it happens all ages. And, and maybe you just want to reach your full potential for your partner to be fully satisfied. Go more often. Go for longer. Blue Chew can help you do all this. The best part is you go to BlueChew.com. It's American-made. You go to BlueChew.com. You meet with a physician 